Hello everyone, this is Ron with Houston Professional Photography. Uh, as you know from the previous video I uploaded yesterday, I uh, informed everyone that we had received the Sin City Stabilizer Rig, which is a DV rig which is used for um, digital video cameras as well as DSLRs uh, for sta stabilization out in the field, whether it be your running gun scenarios or like I have it here on a tripod. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to break this um, system down to its core components and go over each component with you guys so that you'll get an idea of exactly what this baseline kit comes with from the shoulder support to the base plate, the mat box, as well as um, the handles, the rods, the grip and what I've done uh, to um, attach it here to this tripod. Now the tripod that I have it attached to today I would not recommend uh, a tripod this light you know because depending on how heavy your rig may be you know that might be a, a high liability of leaving your camera on such a you know a small tripod but that's what I had here at home today since I wasn't at the studio so I decided I was going to shoot the video from home. Anyway so what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to break down the rig itself into its core components like I said before and we'll go over each one of the components how they're assembled uh, what materials they're made of and what my personal feelings are about the construction as well as the durability and the usefulness of a rig of this type now as for me guys the handles I would say would be one of the most uh, important things that I would consider for a running gun type of uh, support rig meaning that you want something that's going to feel comfortable in your hands it's not going to feel flimsy, you know, you're know. you going to feel comfortable with your equipment on it, or if you're sitting the stand down for some period of time that you know that this is not going to give way and your camera is going to fall and you know thousands of dollars worth of equipment is going to be laying in the mud somewhere, you know, hopefully you won't be shooting that close to the mud, but you kind of get my point. Now the construction of this is very, very well done. The rod assembly for where your rods go through here is uh, almost like a machine type of uh, metal that I would say that kind of reminds me of like how guns would be manufactured. The support release here is just a little bolt and your rods go through, they lock down, basically screw that into place, locks them into place. This is just right now, just from what I've done, this is very, very stable and I haven't even tightened it all the way down. Uh, as far as the handles, the grip, strong rubber, reminds me of like a motorcycle um, hand grip, bicycle, something along that line. So I would give I would say, you know, say a one, a one out of five, I would give this easily a five, you know, because it is very well constructed and I think that this will serve you a long time, may even in some cases outlast your cameras. Next component, guys, to the kit that I received that we're going to discuss is the mat box itself. The mat box is manufactured of what looks to be and feels like a very well formed, uh, hard, rugged plastic. The rear section is where you would um, where you have your ring system which allows you to replace uh, let's pop one out here uh, your different size rings and it comes with a number of these different rings that you can use to you know fit the different size lenses that you may have for your camera and they just really literally just pop right back in there and you would just attach this well usually you would just attach this to the back and screw that back into place. Like so. It seats very well. There's no uh, loose areas. It doesn't feel cheap in any kind of way. The component here is where your rods go through. And the one thing I don't like about this is the small little lever that you can possibly see here. And I just think this is a little flimsy. I think this could have been better done you know for securing this onto the rod system itself but you know that's just one of my little pet peeves but you know overall I think everything else related to it is very nice the flags for those that are curious these are metal if you can hear that all the way around and they secure by these little bolts you know very simple to attach you know to a point that it's not even worth really going through a step-by-step -step instruction as to how to do this because once you see one you'll know automatically how to place it on now you have your 4x4 filter trays you have one that rotates 
I'm gonna rotate all the way around and they just pop right out. They're secured in by these little side tabs here. Let's see if I can get one to come out for you. And you just unscrew that. And these just pop right out. And these will fit your standard um, filters. And just like many of them, they have the little um, spring-loaded thing here. Let's screw that down a little bit. That comes up. You can pull that, tighten it up, whichever you like. But as you see here, these are designed and constructed just like almost any other kit that you would find out there on the market. I mean, I've looked at a number of different um, mat box setups, and I was finding prices that were starting around $600 going up to easily eight, nine, twelve hundred dollars for just the mat box itself. I'm not saying that, you know, those mat boxes maybe in some form or fashion could be better constructed or they have, you know, more features like a swing out or something like that. But for the majority of what we shoot, and I'm sure a number of you guys as well, you know, this will be more than enough to uh, do what a mat box is supposed to do. And that is to reduce lens flare Plus, it looks very professional. Now, it comes with two plates. It'll come with a 4x3 and a 16x9 um, plate that just basically just screws in there. I don't know how well you can, guys can see those screws inside, but you can just, with any simple screwdriver, you can uh, take this thing apart, put it back together. You know, I'm, you know, hopefully you never have to do that out in the field, but it is that easy to man, you know, to put together. And when I assembled this, uh, literally it took just minutes to put the whole kit together. And like I said, this is very, very well constructed. Uh, I don't have another one here with me to compare, but you know, I've, I've tested and worked with a number of different mat boxes. And I would honestly say this one is just as well constructed as any of the others that I've seen out on the market. Okay guys, what you're looking at now is the base plate or the shoulder rest. And as you can see here, this is very well constructed. The padding is ultra, ultra thick, soft, form fitting. This comes with a unique feature, which is this little swing out arm which basically rests on your stomach or your chest or whichever it may be when you would have this in shooting, uh, when, you, when you're in a shooting position. And I think that that adds an extra bit of stability, you know, maybe even a fourth uh, part, point of contact. So these, this is, again, very rugged. You know, I mean, once it's locked in place, it's locked in place. You know, I mean, it'll uh, probably won't sit up because of the angle, but you kind of get the idea of what I'm saying. This uh, base plate part here where your rods go through is heavy, uh, heavy duty metal. Your screws, they all lock right into place. You know, I, I like this system. The only thing that I, I think it could use in, you know, another maybe um, future version of it would be some way to add a counterweight if you felt like you needed it. But I think their manufacturing idea was that this would compensate for the counterweight, which gives you that extra bit of stability when you're out running around or running and gunning and, and like, you know, how we normally use these systems. The bolt here on the side, very nice, you know. And I mean, I can look at this and I could, you know, as I just start thinking, usually when I get, you know, parts in or, uh, you know, equipment in for the studio. The first thing I always think about, if you know, what if one of these little pieces pop off? You know, how difficult is it going to be for me to replace it? How difficult will it be for me to just go maybe to a hardware store and find a piece that I can replace it with? And from what I'm seeing, the majority of these screws, for the size that they are, they're, you know, Allen, you know, tooled um, screws. You could get these at almost any hardware store, specialty store, or either just, you know, order like I usually do extra parts for just almost everything. So I keep it in my bag just in case, you know, worst case scenario, you have it. But like I said, this guys is a really, really nice shoulder rest. You know, I mean, I haven't tested it really out in the field. I will be doing that probably later this week. And I'll get you guys some behind the scenes video of myself or whomever is actually shooting the video. And, you know, you can see and we'll interview them a little bit and they'll tell you how long they've had it on and, you know, how they feel about it. And, you know, we just kind of go from there. But overall, again, I emphasize for the price range of this kit, I don't think you can find anything that's going to be as advanced 
and is well constructed for the amount of money that you're spending. Okay guys, now we're down to the meat and potatoes of the system. If the rods themselves are not well manufactured or the base plate or the connection plate, um, then I personally would feel that my cameras or equipment may be at risk. And again, this is a extremely well manufactured piece. And I'll show you this up close. I will be adding some stills to kind of um, show you guys a little bit closer up view of this, but this is all solid metal. Now, because of the type of camera that I'm using, I'm actually using uh, on this rig as, uh, to start out, I'm using the Sony NEX uh, VG10. And I had to use the spacers, if you can see these down here, which they also provide for you. So depending on if you have a low body camera or you, know, you have a full size DSLR, you know, with, with a uh, battery pack, you know, you can space these accordingly so that you, you have enough room for your, your camera. And then it'll still line up with your mat box or whatever other accessories that you may be using this for. So again, as I said, this for the price range, under a thousand dollars, you get the mat box, you get the rod system, you get the adjustable shoulder brace, you get the durable handles. And I mean, of course, you know, if you're shooting with a DSLR, you may want to add uh, a follow focus or something along that line. Another thing that I will be adding from them is their over the camera cage system, which is a, a basically a handle system that allows you to just pick the camera up and the entire rig up and kind of walk around with it. And also for those low angle shots and things like that. And I will be putting some links to their uh, website as well as um, links to individual um, parts that I see that I may add to this and as I add these new parts to uh, my rig I will do a new video and show you guys where we are as far as that goes and if you have any questions or concerns or anything that you're curious about when it comes to um, this system itself feel free to drop me an email or you know leave me a message on you know any of the forms that you follow me on you know Facebook MySpace YouTube you know wherever it may be Vimeo and I will respond to it as um, as soon as possible and with as much information as I can possibly gain. But again, you can just shoot off an email to uh, the company itself and they have been very, very responsive. I mean, we shoot off an email to them with a question and within the hour, you know, it's not an automated email. They would come back and say, okay, I understand what you're asking and this is the solution or this is what this is manufactured of or this is the, you know, whatever it may be. And I, I love that when it comes to working with a company that it's a real person at the other end of the email, the other end of the phone, and they're willing to respond to you and they're not so busy that they forget that each customer is just as important as the 10 that they serve right before. You know, and that's, that's kind of how I run my business. But anyway, again, guys, uh, feel free to contact me. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.